Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm going to give you a full video walk around of our beautiful 2004 Ford Territory gear. It is a rear wheel drive model in the colour Indiana Red. Really, really well looked after, well presented vehicle with a lot of extra features. Coming across the front, the first thing you'll notice is it's got the aftermarket TJM front nudge bar. Genuine tinted Ford Territory bonnet protector. Being the gear, you also have your full colour coded bars, fog lights in the front bar there as well. Having a look down the side, you'll notice there's no major dents or ripples in the doors or the panels. Really, really clean all the way through the paintwork. Car has been fitted with some optional 20 inch CSA black and chrome alloy wheels and almost brand new. So as you can see under here, the tread on the tyres, lots of tread left on those. Really, really good tyres all the way through and all four tyres are the same. Having a look, it's also been fitted with the Kingsley step boards or the side steps. Again, really finishing off the look of the outside of the car. Also got tinted windows all the way through. Contrasts really nicely against that red and again, nice 20 inch alloy on the back there. Excellent tyre. Moving around through to the back, you'll also notice it has been fitted with the genuine four point colour coded reverse sensors. Has got an exhaust system on there which isn't loud but gives it a nice slight note there as well. And you'll notice in underneath the rear bar there it's got the protective plate around the gas tank as well which is situated underneath of course. Having a look down the passenger side of the car here, you'll also see, again, much the same as the driver's side. No major dints or ripples down the doors or the panels. It does have a slight little mark just here on the wheel arch. This is the alloy wheel that tends to get most of the gutter rash, but as you can see, no marks on the outside edge of that alloy wheel at all. Previous owners definitely been very careful to look after those. Again, good side step down this side. Moving through to the front guard here as well, no marks along there, has got registration expiry of February 2014 and again pretty much new tyres all the way through. As you can see externally the car presents very very well. Moving in under the bonnet of the Territory now, first thing you'll notice is that the latch right in the centre of the bonnet there, very easy to find and also very lightweight bonnet there to lift up considering the twin gas struts up the back, one on either side. Under here you're going to find Ford's very famous 4 litre, 6 cylinder, 182 kilowatt engine. Very good power output for the large family size car. Fuel economy on petrol running around 13.1 litres per 100 kilometres. But that again isn't an issue on this car as it's also been fitted with a Sprint Gas sequential injection gas system. And as you can see all very neatly installed there. Still lots of open room there to work on and definitely saving you a lot of money on the fuel bill side of things there as well. Moving into the back of the Territory now, you'll also notice that they've got a split tailgate, meaning you can lift up the glass by itself as well. A very lightweight as you can see, twin gas struts either side, and this is very handy for when you're at the shops, you might have your handful of bags and you can just chuck them straight in the back without having to open up the entire rear tailgate. Once we shut this down, push the button here on the opposite side for the door. And again, as you can see, you only need to lift it a small amount. Gas struts lift it the rest of the way. You'll also notice in the back here, it's been very well kept. A couple of very minor marks here, just on the top of the rear bar, which you are going to find. Other than that, very clean throughout the carpets, back of the seat there. On the side here, you'll notice it's got a small storage compartment as well. And in under here, there's extra storage there as well. Because of where the spare wheel is situated, you can't lift it all the way up, but you can certainly still lift it up enough to reach in underneath and grab whatever you put under there. You'll also notice the spare wheel is on its own full metal holder, safely secured to the side of the car there. In under here, you'll see you've got your handle there, which is what secures it in place. And it's also got a brand new Goodyear tyre on there just in case anything happens and you need to use the spare as well. As you can see in the back though, very well kept and definitely well looked after. Sitting inside the Territory now, I've actually got the car running so that I can show you all the internal features that this car has to offer. Starting on the driver's door panel over here, you'll notice full electrics to all four doors. You've got leather inserts on the doors as well. Electric mirrors up here on the right hand side. You've got split speakers on the doors with the tweeters at the top making very good sound quality. 
full leather wrap steering wheel. It is multi-function with cruise control off to the right hand side and stereo controls here on the left hand side. You've got headlights, controls on the right hand stalk with the indicators which also have automatic headlights and all your wiper controls are situated on the left hand stalk including the rear wiper as well. Having a look at the dash behind the steering wheel there, really nice metallic silver finish, very easy numbers to read, sitting at just over 166,000 Ks. Next service isn't due until 173,000 Ks, being done at A1 Gas and Mechanical as well, so you're not due for a service for at least 7,000 Ks. Having a look down through the middle, as you can see, it is the premium audio system in the gear. If you put it into reverse, you'll notice Already you've got the reverse camera fitted to the car there as well, which is quite clear and easy to see, as well as having those reverse sensors making it very safe while you're backing up. It does have the six-stack in-dash CD player, all fully controlled through the middle here, radio stations along these buttons here are all preset, and you've also got full dual-zone climate control, meaning you can set the temperature on the left-hand side hotter than the right-hand side, and vice versa. All very easy, all situated right here in the middle. Down through here you've got your trip computer, interior lights, central locking and also the traction control button there as well. A very good feature that this car has that no, none of the other ones will is the world's number one Parrot Bluetooth system. As you can see it's already been pre-hooked up to my iPhone. If you do have an iPhone, as you can see the settings for it are down here just in front of the gear stick. So I'll move that out the way so you can see it a bit better. And as you can see... When you go into the menu, phone book. you've got phone book, telephone, phone, iPod. As you can see also here, you've got three different ways to connect to this as well. You've got USB, 3.5mm headphone jack, and you've also got the iPod or iPhone connector there as well. So if you've got an iPod hooked up or USB, it also has an SD card slot here in the back of the screen, so if you do buy yourself an SD card, you can store all your music on there and play it directly off the SD card. But the most important and most impressive one Bluetooth is the Bluetooth audio. audio. If you've got the phone hooked up with the music already stored into your phone, simply go into this one, it'll bring up your phone, and straight away say you're connected, and start playing Bluetooth streaming straight through. Very impressive system, and this retails at just under $1,300, so very good value for money considering it's already been fitted. Moving around to the rest of the car, down through the centre console here you'll see it is the Tiptronic Automatic. It does have your normal drive, and then across to the left hand side you've got your sports transmission as well. Twin cup holders in the centre there, nice and deep and a good size. And a very large centre console, obviously leather wrapped to match the rest of the interior. And as you can see, a very, very deep centre console down through there as well. Moving across through the middle, you'll see the dash, the glove box, all in excellent condition. Passenger front door card. Leather interior, as you can see, perforated seats, great for the hotter days, doesn't get too sweaty. All very, very well kept, really clean. Carpets throughout are also very well kept. And moving through into the back, safety-wise the car is fitted with your ABS brakes, traction control, dual front airbags and also curtain airbags through for the second row occupants and also the front row there as well. And as you can see all the way through, been very, very well kept. There's one tiny little mark just here in the carpet, just on the centre mound there. Other than that, carpet throughout, roof lining, everything's all in very, very good condition, all been well kept. Interior lights in the centre of the car. You've also got your sunglasses holder in the centre there as well. And you've also got your clock situated up the top here too. Another great thing to note about this car is it's actually got all of its keys and the books. Got two factory keys as well as the two factory remotes for the remote central locking. Now the two books under here, you've got uh, the instruction and service handbook for the Sprint Gas Direct Injection Gas System which, as I mentioned before, very good system, and the receipt's also in there for $4,500 just for the gas system installation. And you've also got the Bob Jane Team Art booklet, which has the receipt in there for the alloy wheels and tyres, purchased in December of last year for $3,500. That's excellent value for money inside this car. 
You've also got the original factory handbook with the owner's manual and also the warranty and service guide. And as you can see in here, very good servicing all the way through. Servicing, of course, due every 15,000 Ks. Been done at 16, 35, bit of a jump there to 60, which was combined. But then servicing at 77, 92, 111, 130, 134 and 153,000. Definitely been really well kept, definitely well maintained and just a true credit to the previous owner. Thank you very much again for your inquiry on our 2004 Ford Territory gear. As you can see throughout this video, it is an excellently maintained vehicle, really well kept and loads of extra features. If you do have any further questions, don't hesitate to call us here on 9907 0555. Thanks again for watching the video. We look forward to hearing from you soon.